Let's say we have a folder of photos in which there are a few photos that need to be rotated, but if it's a large batch, we don't want to go through them one by one. A new app called Actions on Windows will do this for us fairly quickly. Just open up Actions and take a look to your left. You'll see all the actions you can drag into a workflow, sorted by category like email, files and folders, and images. In this case, and in pretty much every case, you're going to want to start with an action that gets files to edit. So we're going to drag this get files action into our workflow and then move over to the images section. We want to rotate these photos so let's pick the rotate images action and drag that into our workflow. We don't want to add an extra action that copies the images since we do actually want to rotate the originals. And depending on how you tend to hold your camera you may need to rotate the images left or right. Then just open up your folder, select the images that you need to rotate, and drag them into the Get Files box. That's it. Now when you hit Run Workflow, it'll take a second and it should rotate all your photos in that folder for you. That's it. If we open our folder, we'll see that all the photos have been rotated for us. Now, if you needed to do this more often, you could turn it into an executable workflow that you can run at any time. We'll probably want to replace the get files action with an ask for files action. So we can tell what files to use at any time. And then go to file, create executable workflow. And put it right here on the desktop. And now, even if we close actions, anytime I want to rotate some images, I can just double click on this wexe file and it will run the workflow for me asking me what files I want to rotate. Note that you still need actions installed if you want to use these wexe files so you can't just go ahead and give this to your friends they'll need to install actions first.